Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Electronic uh, Gamer Scoreboard for um, my single solo chart for Apple Football. And uh, this one uses uh, my homemade cards for Apple Football. I was cutting them out and uh, curving the edges and making them look really good, and I like that. Um, but as I keep making uh, subtle little changes in my formulas, it was just better to go uh, with digitally sliced versions until I get uh, my formula finalized. And I'm pretty close, but I'm always making little tweaks as I see things. But I'm pretty happy with the way the games are coming out and the realism I'm seeing. So I'll be using the scoreboard for this. This is going to be <clears throat> week 14 at Houston Oilers, in which they won 13 to three. Right now I have the Steelers at 10 and three versus 11 and two uh, in actual 1978. So the Steelers will be the visiting team today at the Astrodome in Houston. <clears throat> Load these teams up. You can see the starting lineup for the Oilers, uh, highlighted by Earl Campbell right there. So let's take a look at uh, the defenses for today after we get through our introduction from the Monday Night Crew here. You can't hear that, <laughs> but there's an introduction there. So uh, the... Oilers defense is a minus four on the run, so we'll, you'll you'll see that we'll be taking away uh, gains uh, one at a time for rushes of one to five yards, and two yard two yards will be deducted if it's a gain of uh, over five yards. But once these impact defense impact points are used, then uh, you just go by the straight result. And there are plus eight on pass defense, so we'll be uh, adding to the yards gained from this column. And uh, when the Steelers on defense, they're minus 11. They're very tough against the run and minus one on the pass. So uh, without further ado, let's get started with the kickoff by Roy Jarella. And that'll be a 17. And here's my single solo chart. And that is a touchback. So we'll give it to the Oilers on their own 20. And put them both in uh, run-oriented Offensive schemes, you can see that the Steelers won at 13-3, to December 3rd, 1978, at the Astrodome. And 48 rushes by the Steelers, 26 for the Oilers, 24 passes, 27 passes for the Oilers. QB rating, uh, 53 for <laughs> Terry Bradshaw, and I'm chuckling because I've already seen Dan Pastorini's rating, 7.4. Wowzer. Okay. So let's see how, we, how it goes. Well, uh, my electronic scoreboards will call the plays. Sometimes I'll, uh, in inner, I'll override here. So we'll see. Earl Campbell with a 21. That's 19. So I've color coded this, so it kind of helps me make it go a little quicker. Black and blue will be your runs inside, outside, and then green for short pass. Um, yellow for medium and a red for long. So this is a 19 on the outside. That's four yards and minus one because of the Steelers defense. And that'll be three yards. So you can see how the defense comes into play. I really like that feel. Second down, give to Campbell again. And it doesn't look, look like much. 18 on the inside is four. And that'll get you three against the Steelers. Brings up third and four. And they'll run it again with Tim Wilson. And a bad roll of 24. On the outside, it'll get you two, which will get you one. And that'll be a three and out for the Oilers. So 22 is a four on the punt. That's a 53-yard punt. 
And Theo Bell on the return, and that's a fair catch, 27. So first down for the Steelers on their own 20. Franco Harris is a 21. Outside run is four. Minus one, that'll get you three. Second and seven. Going to the air, Terry Bradshaw with a two. Looks like a big play here, short pass. That's good for 40 yards. 40 yards, minus one for being a C receiver. And add two. So 39 plus two is 41 net there. Takes it down to the Oilers 36. And off to Rocky Blyer with a 20 on the outside run. That's good for three. And minus one will get you two. Second and eight. And off to Franco on the nine on the inside run. That's four. I'll get you three. You can see the uh, defense impact points for the Oilers are dwindling, so they're wearing down that defensive line. They still have one more left. And we have a third and five. Give to Franco. On a 21 on the inside is three. That'll get you two. So will, will we have a field goal attempt? 29 and 7, 36, 46 yarder. I don't think that Roy Jarilla can do that. No, his long is a 44. So they'll be going for it. We'll let the system call the play. It's a pass, 43, 13, medium pass. is good for 15, plus 2 for the A receiver, plus 2 for the uh, defense. So that was 15 plus 4, 19. Correct. First and go at the 10. Pass play called 17 on the short pass. That's 3 plus A. It gets you 5 plus 1. Six yard gain. You can see how the defense impact points come into play. Second and goal on the 4. Give to Franco. 52 is a 32. On the inside, it'll get you 1. And no impact points left. So that's a 1 yard gain. Third and goal. Give to Franco. 34 is a 26. On the inside is good for two yards. And it's early, and they'll go for it. All right, I'm going to call to play. I'm going to call Rocky Blyer, or we're going to call Franco. We'll call Rocky will do the block. Franco on the inside. Let's see how it goes. 15, that'll do it. Six yards, he gets in there. Whatever, we just give him the one needed. There's a touchdown. Steelers are in. Roy Jarella has had problems with uh, extra points. Let's see how this one goes. 51, that'll work. That is good. So, it's seven to nothing. You can see inside run by Franco Harris for one yards. Uh, they had three first downs on that drive. And we've reset the ball in the 35, and we'll do the kickoff. And that'll be to the six. And the return by the Oilers, a roll of 31. One, Ronnie Coleman. Nope. Johnny Durden will be returning the kick with a 12. And that's a 19-yard return. First and 10 for the Oilers. Dan Pastorini back to pass. 64, 18 is incomplete. I've memorized that one. That's one good thing about the single solo play charts is you can memorize numbers. That one goes incomplete. Looks like they're going to pass again. This is a nine medium pass, so that's good for eight. Ken Burrows uh, an A, so to take it to a 10 and minus one brings it back to a nine for the Steelers defense. And that was important there because, look, it was second and ten. Brings up third and one. And to give to Earl Campbell on a nine, that's four minus one will get you three. First down for the Oilers. Dan Pastorini back to pass with an eight. Short pass will get you eight. And a B receiver, no change, so it's an eight-yard pickup. 
second and two. Give to Earl Campbell, and that's a 22. On the outside is good for nothing. Brings up third and two. Give to Campbell on a 22, and it's a 15. That's good for 16. We'll take two away since it's over five yards. 14-yard gain for Earl Campbell. Over midfield now at the Steelers 41. It's a medium pass called 39. Uh, 31 is a 9. PRN of 9. That's an 8. And plus 2 for the A receiver makes it a 10. And there's no defense impact points left for the Steelers on the pass. So it's a 10-yard pickup. So the Steelers 31. Outside run to Earl Campbell. That's a 24. 2 will get you 1. Brings up second and nine. Earl Campbell, 22, another one. Big run, 16, minus two will get you 14. Oilers are in the red zone. Give to Tim Wilson on an inside run. 54 is a 21. One will get you zero against the Steelers' defense. Second and 10. Give to Earl Campbell. 55 is a 16. Wow, nine minus two will get you seven. See how that comes into play? That defense for the Steelers. Because it would have been a gain of uh, nine, and we took two away. So it's a gain of seven, bringing up third and three. They only have two defense impact points left for the run. It gives Earl 18 on an inside run. It'll get you four, subtract two, and there. You've just come short of a first down because of that, bringing up fourth and one. And for the Oilers, oh, wow. Do they go for it like the Steelers did mm, or kick the field goal? All right, to be fair, we'll let them go for it. They're going to give to Wilson on a 24 inside run, and that'll get you three. They do get the first down. All right, first and goal, the give to Earl Campbell on a 26 inside run will get you two. Second and goal, giving to Earl Campbell on a 12. That's a 14 on an outside run will get you three, and he is in to pay dirt. And the extra point will tie this game up. Tony Fritsch, 55, that'll do it. That is good. So we're ready for the kickoff. 14 is a 20, and that is a 59-yard kickoff. And the return by Larry Anderson is a 22. That's a 9, and that's a 30-yard return. Takes it to the 36. Okay, well, that's uh, it for here. Uh, that's pretty much the first quarter uh, almost completed. And we're tied at 7-7 seven seven at the Astrodome in Houston. I'll let you know how this turns out, and thanks for watching.